For my middle schoolers, grades 7 through 8, we're going to be discussing color theory, more specifically color relationships, complements, and exploring them through pop art. I will start off the lesson by asking this very open-ended question of what is art, or what is considered art. For example, I will pick up a water bottle or a pencil on any student's desk and ask them if this is considered art, we could take this subject or object and turn it into art. After our five minute discussion on what is art, I will introduce Andy Warhol's Campbell's Soup Cans painting from 1961 as an example of subject matter and introducing pop art, which is a popular staple in our American art history. Continuing our discussion of pop art through Andy Warhol, we will look further into Campbell's soup cans and other paintings of his. We will continue with VTS, visual thinking strategies, asking questions such as what is going on in this picture, following up with what makes you say that, and diving further into what we think about his use of color and subject matter. This will go further into introducing us into color theory and complementary colors. For our first task as a class, I will be asking students to get into groups of three to four people. They will discuss their hobbies and interests as a group, but create individual lists of their own subjects, hobbies, and interests. These lists they will hold on to for further application to the project. After students have returned to their normal seats, I will go back to the PowerPoint, introducing the complementary color wheel. We will then dive further into complementary colors using the complement wheel worksheet. This will be a handout given to students, blank, as seen on the left, and colored in by students on the right. This will then be another source for their later project. Returning to the PowerPoint, we revisit Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe painting. This will be an introduction to our final project, which will be done in the next class, after this period of research. For the final project, students will pick one subject from their list that they discussed as a group. They will then make a stencil of the subject, recreating it in four different boxes. Students will then fill in each box using the three complementary colors, yellow, purple, red, green, orange and blue, and for the last box will be the color complement of their choice, choosing one warm color and one cool color. Students will be encouraged to use paints of their choice, preferably acrylic or tempera. The last option is creating a box of six. This is a choice and is definitely preferred for a student that would like to create more color relationships in their project.